Good afternoon. I'm Gary Williams with NBC Sports. Very pleased to be joined by three important gentlemen who have formed, formed the Club Leadership Alliance. That is Kurt Keebler, Frank Vane, and Ray Cronin. Gentlemen, it's great to be with you. Uh, this could be a wonderful thing for the industry. Frank, let me start with you. Why form uh, this wonderful alliance? Hi, Gary. Thanks for having us. We, we think it's time. And like any alliance, there's you know, strength in numbers, right? And so when we looked at our firms, we've known each other for, for many, many years. We've worked on similar uh, projects and at, at, at uh, the same clubs often. And, uh, and we really found that bringing together our unique capabilities, our experiences, the data that we all possess around that, and bringing those, that information to the, to the leaders of clubs across the country, will amplify our voice and will help them adopt some best practices that we've discovered that we think would be very impactful for their success. Ray, the healthy clubs, what can you learn about patterns that are going on with healthy clubs that can be beneficial to the whole industry? Yeah, I think that what we've all seen, all three of our firms, is that these healthy clubs, which we know exist, we would suggest it's about a quarter of the industry. Uh, what they tend to do is they really tend to plan forward and they really rely on their members slash owners to come up with the capital necessary to invest in evolving, invest in the future. And that really, really is the core of success. And we, as three firms, each of us has a unique specialty that relates directly to that forward-looking vision or forward-looking investment or bringing in the right talent to implement that because it can't be done by a volunteer board. It must be done by full-time professional staff. And those are the core concepts behind why the uh, Club Leadership Alliance has come together. Kurt, to implement best practices or at least better practices, give me an example of some of the things that you think are essential uh, to put this industry going in the direction you all want it to be in. Well, and, and great question, Gary. I think from our perspective, I'll, I'll steal from one of my favorite taglines, an educated consumer is our best customer. We've got to take the emotion out of the decision making in boardrooms and in leadership groups and frankly arm the leaders, both volunteered and paid, with better data so they can make much more informed decisions and they've got to do a better job of educating every constituency group that contributes to the success of a club. I think once we do that, we're going to get much greater buy-in and it's not going to be an ag agenda-driven uh, environment, which most of the dysfunctional clubs tend to be. Frank, the member experience, that's, that's it. Every single day, wherever it may be, it's that experience that will really dictate how successful or how ordinary uh, the industry's growth is going to be. Is that something that is essential to what you collectively are trying to do here? Well, it is. That's the that's the payoff, right? I mean, in clubs, if we think about the product, that's that's ultimately what we're offering to people, right? And so you need to look at that as to, and and they're the judge, right? As we look out there, the the, the consumer sets value. In this case, the member sets value. We can't tell them what they're going to like and what they're going to enjoy. We have to figure that out and provide it for them. And so, when you look at the world today, how people dress and work and what recreation they're interested in, uh, how much time they spend with their family. All those things, they, they change over time, right? That's just how society evolves. And sometimes at clubs, we get a little stuck in our ways and say, well, we like things just the way they are. And that lack of relevance, that disconnect has particularly been problematic for them in recent years. And that's why they've had a harder time attracting the younger generation. We need to understand that younger generation, do the things they want to do, stay true to our values, but also be relevant in our offerings. Well, Kurt, Ray, Frank, Thank you for taking the time, and more importantly, thank you for bringing your minds together. You mentioned being like-minded. You can have a lot of different opinions, but you have the best intention, and that is for this industry to experience growth, and that is why you formed the Club Leadership Alliance. Thank you so much. Thank you to everybody out there for watching. Gentlemen, thanks very much. Thank you, Gary. Great to be with you, Gary.